Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be bringing to you a fall inspired emulsified sugar scrub. If you are familiar with my emulsified sugar scrub recipe that I already have published on my Patreon campaign and also the video tutorial here on YouTube, then I think you're really gonna like this recipe as well. It is a version or a take on that emulsified sugar scrub recipe. And this one is gonna have a lot of those things that you guys ask me about a lot. You ask me about substituting butters and oils in this recipe, how to do it, at what percentages. So I'm gonna be going over all of that today as well. And also, I think you're really gonna like that it is fall inspired. We're gonna be using beautiful ingredients like pumpkin seed oil, pumpkin powder, and a beautiful pumpkin fragrance oil. In this video today, I'm gonna to be going over with you a step-by-step -step visual tutorial on how to put together this sugar scrub. And if you would like the full written recipe plus tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this recipe and all other recipes that I have published over there for just a small $5 pledge. There's a ton to take advantage of on my Patreon campaign, including a bunch of fall recipes by now that will have been published and shared with you all, and two years of archived recipes for you to take advantage of for just that small $5 pledge. We also offer things like live classes and exclusive club benefits that include gift packages and a lot of other things. So if you're interested, please go check it out. I'll put the link in the description box below and you can head on over there if you're interested. All right, let's make some sugar scrub. All right, so we're gonna start off by weighing out the ingredients that are gonna be melted down into this container. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna to explain to you why I'm using the ingredients that I'm using and the difference between this current version of the recipe and the original recipe that's already published. Okay, so I first thing I did was weigh off my white granulated sugar, and I'll be showing you that in just a few minutes. I have popped it into my KitchenAid mixer bowl. You do not have to use a KitchenAid mixer. You can do this whole thing by hand. Um, if you wanna see how that's done, you can take a look at the original video on how to make this sugar scrub, or you can use an electric hand mixer, whatever you have. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off the stearic acid. Now we're using stearic acid. It's gonna help with the thickening and the setting up of this recipe. It also has some really good skin loving and conditioning properties to it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put in stearic acid. All right. And then to the stearic acid, we're gonna be adding in some emulsifying wax. Now this is a different emulsifier than I used in the original recipe. I'm gonna be using Polo Wax, and this is a really kind of high-end emulsifier. It's got a really good skin feel. This is also going to help with the product thickening and setting up a little bit. But this is the ingredient that's going to allow um, the emulsion. So basically when you get the scrub on your skin and you mix it with a little bit of water from your shower or your tub, it's going to give it that beautiful lotion-like consistency on your skin. Also it's going to help allow the oils in this recipe to rinse cleanly off your skin and down the drain and not stick to your bathtub or um, hang out on your skin and give you that slick, oily feeling. So there is not a substitute for the emulsifier, although you can use any type of emulsifier you like. Today we're gonna be using Polo Wax. In the original video and recipe, I used the Soft and Silky. And I use the Soft and Silky Wax. I usually get that from Nature's Garden. So we're gonna go ahead and use Polo Wax today. I picked this one up from Brambleberry. And it's just a nice, high-end, luxurious emulsifier. Certainly, you could just use um, emulsifying wax NF, just the regular. That's the generic brand of this. Okay. And then to this, we're going to be adding in some beeswax. It can be yellow beeswax or white beeswax. Today, I'm using a white cosmetic grade beeswax and the beeswax in this recipe you can't substitute it for any type of vegetable wax like soy wax or candelilla wax it's just something that you're going to have to play around with on the percentages because the hardness of beeswax is different than the hardness and the melt point of candelilla wax or um, soy wax. So the amounts are gonna be different if you do substitute it. 
and I'm not exactly sure because I, I just always have experimented with beeswax in this recipe. Um, it's just my favorite consistency. Um, I have tried the other waxes and I don't like I don't like it as much as I like like it with beeswax. This is going to give your sugar scrub just a really nice consistency and it kind of helps put a barrier on your skin and it's just a nice thing to add. So in keeping with my fall theme here, we're going to go ahead and add in some pumpkin seed oil to this recipe. Pumpkin seed oil, I got this one from Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supplies Plus. You can pick this up there or probably other places as well. And this is going to be really good for, um, it has a lot of um, alpha hydroxy acids in it. It's got vitamins C and A. It's got beta carotene. So all those things are really skin loving and help with a, a youthful glow. In the original recipe, we use sweet almond oil, which has a nice skin feel as well. This is gonna be very similar to that, but we're keeping with the pumpkin theme and it has loaded with different types of ingredients and vitamins um, that the sweet almond oil doesn't have, has other properties to it. So we're gonna try the pumpkin seed oil in this and then the other thing we're gonna do is add in some shea butter. Now, this is a question I get asked a lot about on this recipe because the original recipe calls for the uh, coconut oil, 76 degrees. And I get asked a lot if this can be replaced with shea butter and the answer is yes. So shea butter is gonna add uh, really a lot of moisturizing properties to this, to the sugar scrub. Just a luxurious, silky skin feel. Um, the coconut oil, again, you could use that in place. That's what we use in the original recipe. Um, this variation of it, we're gonna be using shea butter for its skin loving and moisturizing, anti-aging properties. I'm using um, refined shea butter. I like it because it doesn't have an odor to it and I also like it because of the color. Okay, so then to this we're going to be adding in some avocado oil and this is actually something that's in the original recipe as well and we're using it because it's very emollient, it is great for um, mature skin, aging skin, and it also has a lot of vitamins and it brings moisture to the skin better than some other light carrier oils do. So I decided to keep that one the same. And then the next thing we're gonna be adding in is some liquid shea butter. Now I picked this up from Brambleberry. It's a liquid um, refined version of shea butter. And the reason I'm using this is because I just, again, I wanted to add a lot of moisture and silky feeling to this sugar scrub, especially moving into the fall season. And in place of this, or in the original recipe, we used rice bran oil. Um, that one has a lot of antioxidants in it. You could certainly still use that. Um, and I, I intend to, but this is just another option. So we're gonna be using a liquid shea and then the rest of the liquid ingredients we're going to add in after this is all melted down because we don't want to heat up our fragrance oil and we don't want to heat up our preservative. So I'll bring you right back when this is all melted down and we're ready to add in the other ingredients. Okay, so all of these ingredients are now melted down and we're sitting right at 155 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and add in the fragrance oil first. And you guys saw me use this with the emulsified whip or with the whipped um, exfoliating sugar scrub I did a few weeks back. And we're gonna be using it again today. It's the Pumpkin Coconut Cream by Crafter's Choice. And it's a good pumpkin fragrance without the spice. If you don't like that spicy pumpkin smell, it's like a sweet baked good with like a toasted coconut base note to it. 
really good. So I'm gonna be adding in my fragrance oil. I'm gonna give this a good stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the Optifin preservative. I am using the Optifin at 176 degrees. I got this from Brambleberry. It can be added to products less than, 106, less than 176 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are definitely below that. I'll go ahead and do another temperature read just to be on the safe side. So we're sitting at 142. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in. If you add it in hotter than 176 degrees Fahrenheit, you risk degrading or killing off that preservative. And although we're not adding any water to this, this is a product that people are gonna be taking into the shower or the bath and the introduction of water is highly likely. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our Optifin preservative. Perfect. And give this a good stir. And then we're gonna take everything over to the KitchenAid mixer. And we're just gonna start slowly combining our liquid oils and butters into the sugar that's already been weighed off. Okay, here we are at the KitchenAid mixer and we're just gonna turn this on and slowly start to incorporate in the liquid or the melted ingredients. Okay, so that just took about 30 seconds to get all the way combined. So the next thing we're gonna do is add in some pumpkin powder. We're gonna be adding in some pumpkin powder for color, and this is a natural alternative to an orange color. Um, it's not gonna get super bright orange, but that's okay. It's gonna be a nice um, light orange, kind of yellowish color. <laughs> Okay, so everything has been well combined. It's still warm and this sugar scrub takes about 24 hours. You will notice it will get more stiffer over 24 hours. It'll set up and become less of fluid than it is right now. So don't be alarmed if it looks kind of fluid or not as thick as you think it should be. In 24 hours, if you followed all the directions, Correctly, this should be a gorgeous thickness that does not come out of the jars and is great for shipping and it's a really good consistency for, sh for showering. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and just start placing this into these little eight ounce containers I got from Nature's Garden. They're plastic PET containers. And I'm just using a spoon to scoop it in. Okay, that filled up six of these containers. I do have a little bit left over. I, that's not gonna fill up a, a complete um, eight ounce container over here. So we probably will go ahead and put that into a little four ounce container. And so tomorrow I'm gonna bring you back just to show you the consistency of this after it's had a chance to set up overnight. And I'll give you a little bit of a use demo. Okay, everybody, it's the next day and this sugar scrub has had 24 hours now to fully set up. So I wanted to show you what it looks like and then show you how it works. So it's got a very thick consistency. As you can see, there's no floating oils, much like my original emulsified sugar scrub recipe. Of course, if you like it a little bit more oily, you could reduce the amount of sugar that you use. 
in this recipe. This is great for shipping. As you can see, nothing falls out. It does get a little bit looser in the really hot summer months, but for the most part, this is what you can expect. And I have never had any issues shipping it. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what this, how this works. It smells really, really good. So we're just gonna take a little bit out, scoop a little bit out, and then we're just gonna wet the product a little bit, wet our skin. I love to use this in the shower. See how you're getting that gorgeous kind of lotion-like? That's the product emulsifying on, on the um, damp and wet skin and it feels really, really good. So once it hits that moisture, that water, it just brings a beautiful emulsion to the product and to your skin, and you're not left with any greasy, oily residue feeling on your skin, which is, that's what's really nice about emulsified products. So then you're just gonna rinse it off. It rinses cleanly. And that will go cleanly down your drain as well. It won't leave your bathtub or your shower slick. And that's it. You're left with silky, exfoliated, beautiful skin. That concludes today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with a friend. Catch you on the next video. Bye.